Welcome back. In this video, we're going to see what happens if you forget to change the rotation mode from quaternion WXYZ, this thing that Rigify would have by default on the control bounds, to XYZ Euler that we're using uh, to make this animation. So what happens if you don't change it? Do you, are you just stuck with it or how do you deal with this problem? So that's what we're going to look at in this video and let's get right to it. So I'm just going to stop the animation and go to the first frame. Rigify offers a great tool to deal with this problem. So if I just go into pose mode and select a control bone like this torso one, then we can use this uh, Rigify Quaternion Euler Converter Panel to switch between Quaternion and Euler rotation modes. Now, if, if you don't have an animation on your character, then it's just really simple. You just go to the transform panel and change it to whatever you want. But we want to save our animation data and then convert it across to a different rotation mode. So that's why we need this panel here. So this is now in Euler. So I'm just going to switch it to Quaternion by selecting Quaternions over here. Let me just expand this a little. And then we can do convert the current action. Now action is just Blender's way of saying animation. So if we go into the animation uh, panel in the graph editor, you can see that the rotation mode has been changed from XYZ to WXYZ. And if we play our animation, you can see that it is still working. Uh, all of the animation data curves have been converted to quaternions, but now it's really difficult to understand what any of these keys is doing because there are four values. It's not very intuitive. So I'm just going to switch this back to Euler. So I'm just going to go back to layout uh, in pose mode, find the, this panel again, select a, an Euler rotation mode and then do convert current action. Back in animation, we can see that the curves have been restored to XYZ Euler, but there are a couple of things to note here. Let me just turn off normalize. You'll see for one thing, there are significantly more keys here that's part of the conversion process. And there is a bit of data loss just, just for one frame on, on the end. Uh, it's not cycling exactly like it was in the original animation. That's because our modifiers will no longer uh, copy over uh, as a part of this conversion process. It, it kind of gets baked in. So that's something to be aware of. There might be minor data loss, but the animation can be converted and it is still going to work. So that's just something that I wanted to point out that this uh, really handy feature is available in Rigify should you ever need to convert between Quaternion and Euler rotation modes.